Hi guys, this is Icemain. Today I'm going to be going through everything we know about the campaign so far for Halo Infinite. But before we begin, as always, if you like the content, be sure to hit them like and subscribe buttons and even the bell to keep notified for any future content. As we begin, the question on most people's minds is, when is Halo Infinite set? Now, Halo Infinite takes place quite a while after the ending of Halo 5, with a rampant Cortana, nowhere to be seen, and Master Chief adrift in space. All we know right now is a new supporting character, who goes by the title The Pilot, finds Chief floating around and takes him on board. The pilot's name will be revealed during the course of the campaign, but who he is and where he comes from is currently a mystery. In terms of the length of the campaign, according to 343, the Infinite campaign will be several times larger than their previous two campaigns put together, meaning 4 and 5. I, for one, love me some Halo story, so the more the better. I think with the free roam element in certain areas like we saw in the campaign gameplay, it will add longevity to the gameplay through side missions, etc., but I imagine the story will still be quite linear. Although we'll be able to explore the ring at some point, I don't imagine we can go roaming around in space a la Mass Effect, for example. The other question on everyone's lips is who is the bad guy? Who are we going to be throwing down with? This, I think, has a deeper meaning than first advertised, so I'll try my best to simplify it all. First off, Cortana. Where is she and is she still the villain? Now, through other sources of Halo Universe material, during and since the end of Halo 5, Cortana has formed a rogue faction, the created, of AI alongside the Warden, this guy from Halo 5, who has replaced the Didact as head honcho of the Prometheans. Together, they have the aim of assuming the mantle of responsibility. What is the mantle of responsibility, some of you ask? Well, during the Halo 4 campaign, it was discovered from the librarian that humans were to hold the mantle. It's the belief that the most developed species were in charge of tending to all life in the galaxy, protectors of the peace, if you will. The Didact, the villain from Halo 4, an ancient forerunner and creator of the Prometheans, disagreed with this notion and felt humans were the greatest threat to the galaxy. I mean, he's not wrong. And with this, tried to destroy Earth. Chief stopped him with the sacrifice of Cortana and birthed the story of Chief trying to find her in Halo 5. Now, Cortana has taken it upon herself to form this faction, the created, and assume the mantle. The last we saw of Cortana in 5 was she took control of the Forerunner Guardians. And the last we saw of the Guardians was the end of Halo Wars 2, which I will get to later. After that short history lesson, getting back to Infinite, the Banished are the guys we will predominantly be fighting on the ground. The Banished are a rogue faction of brutes alongside your familiar Covenant elites and grunts too, who were predominantly featured in Halo Wars 2. Now, Halo Wars 2, for those that never played it, featured the Banished trying to take control of the Ark. The Ark, for those that remember Halo 3, was the installation in control of the rings. Now, the Banished first arrived in Halo Wars 2 and were led by the badass, ruthless brute warmaster, Atriox. He originally fought on behalf of the Covenant, but was banished after thwarting his own execution, hence the birth of the name. A deadly warrior and brilliant military leader, Atriox actually inspired many others to join him in his exile. His intentions were to use the Ark's forges to build Halo rings. The whole campaign for Halo Wars 2 is thwarting his mission. One key point from the campaign of Halo Wars 2, which may tie in with Infinite and lead us to the whereabouts of Cortana, is what happened to Professor Anders at the end of Halo Wars 2. Anders was one of the protagonists in Halo Wars 2 and could not make it out of the control room in time before one of the rings, Installation 9, entered a slip space portal to another system. En route to its destination, however, the Halo was intercepted by a Guardian. Now, could Cortana be on the Guardian that now resides over Installation 9? I think this is worth noting because 343 have said there will be links between Halo Wars 2 and Infinite. On a side note, if you're a big Halo fan and you haven't played Halo Wars 2, please do. It's free on Game Pass and a cracking game to boot. 
One theory I personally would like to see take place is we attempt to rescue Anders from Installation 9 at some point and seize it from Created Control, thus Chief bumping into Cortana again. From there, the Spirit of Fire, the main UNSC vessel in Halo Wars 2, looking for Professor Anders, could join up with the Infinity once we send out a beacon. That'd be incredible, some serious fan service for all those characters being in one place at one time. You've got Captain Cutter with Lasky, Professor Anders and Dr. Halsey. It'd be pretty neat, but that's me spitballing though. I digress. The reason I brought up Atriox in the first place is because of this guy. Who is this? Now this is the new villain, Warchief Asharam. Asharam quite clearly has a lot of admiration for Atriox, saying, We fight together to honor the will of Atriox. So it's fair to assume he's taken over as the banished leader. Could this be hinting at Atriox's death? It's unknown whether he'll return, but what we do know from other source materials is that Esharam worked alongside Atriox on Reach after the planet was glassed and was put in charge of the remaining banished in Atriox's absence, just to give you a bit of history. From the footage we saw of Asharam, he proclaims the Halo Ring as his last stand, knowing that Master Chief is coming for him. It's my last fight. A true test of legends. Our story will outlive us both. Set a fire in your heart, Spartan. Bear your fire. It is evident the new Warchief and the Banished have successfully captured a Halo Ring and UNSC Big Shot Master Chief is forced to play defense. Now, Asharam lastly mentions a plan to use an unknown entity called the Harbinger. Now, while we weren't given any clues past the name, some fans have jumped to assuming Cortana and the Created to be the mysterious Harbinger. One person supported this theory using Halo 5's achievement called Harbinger that requires the player to safely escort the blue team to Cortana during Mission 14 Legendary. One thing 343 did say is, despite there being so much now of the larger Halo universe, you will not have to consume the comic books and the novels of the larger Halo universe in order to understand what's going on in Halo Infinite, a criticism of Halo 4 and 5 that 343 acknowledged. Some people were confused at certain aspects of each one's campaign, and again, as mentioned in my previous video, they are going the route of simplification, which is great to hear. Halo Infinite is both the conclusion to what has been to date known as the Forerunner Saga, and it also sets the course for new stories and beyond. I did find the complications of 4 and 5 what put a lot of people off. For some, it was a little confusing in places without the external materials like the comics, etc., to actually break it down. 343 have said you'll see these extended universe elements and nostalgic moments during Infinite, though so both parties, newcomers and the biggest of fans can both enjoy. As for the main man himself, Master Chief, it appears he's gone back to a classic look too, coming away from the changes in 4 and 5. Now, Cortana used nanobot technology to repair the armor in 4 after the battle in 3. It's actually a pretty drastic artistic change, but it's still technically the same suit. The nanobot repairs are, however, how we're supposed to account for the visual differences in design, it seems. My theory is the beginning of the game, John is wearing his Cortana modified Mark VI with nanobots and is able to confront Cortana, but she's able to manipulate the armor through the nanobots, possibly because she literally created it. Chief then opts for the suit we see in Infinite without the nanobots and no possible exploitation from Cortana or any other AI. I, for one, was stoked to see Chief rep the classic 6 armor, Mark 6 should I say, visual. Going back to its roots, I was never a fan of the changes they made in 4 and 5, and I think the fan base do kind of share my vibes. As for whether or not we should expect a chattier Master Chief a la Halo 4, or a more strong and silent type a la Bungie's original trilogy, it's going to lie apparently somewhere in between. This sits fine with me, I didn't particularly like Chief being this talkative guy all of a sudden after years of literal one-liners in the original trilogy. The end of the demo showed a flashback sequence, during which the UNSC Infinity Supercarrier, a centerpiece of the previous two Halo games, blips off the radar. So was it destroyed? 
343 stated that question is one of the things that Chief is going to discover during the game. Maybe Infinity gets teleported to Anders. <laughs> Maybe I'm just spitballing that and hoping that happens. But overall, there's a lot of ways this game can go. I, for one, am pumped for it. I expect the campaign to be the best since Halo 3, learning from their past mistakes of 4 and 5. I've preached it continuously, but simplicity is key, which is what they are definitely doing. The suit, the abilities, the equipment, and I'm hoping the story follows. We're on a Halo ring, a bad guy to beat, and then a deeper story, hopefully, in the background with a more grandiose consequence with us trying to stop or even get Cortana back to the good side. As for when we can expect to play this, test flighting is confirmed to Halo Insiders. So I can actually keep you up to date with that. As for a possible open beta, it's still a question mark, but Bonnie Ross did confirm in 2015 all future Halo titles would have a beta following the disastrous launch of Halo's Master Chief Collection. Now, 343 are due to announce some more infinite snippets at the end of this month. So be sure to stay tuned for more information. That's all today, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit them like and subscribe buttons. And as always, until next time, stay frosty.